understand the whole thing, but that's not what I want. I need the back to stay where it is so it connects with the back, and I need to bend it from a certain point. Okay? So let me uh, reset the bend. Reset flex. So we've got to deal with all three of these things. Okay? I come up here and I say, well, I need the bend to start about here. And we can also, if you get deeper into this tool, you can actually draw geometry and snap to it. You can see that my uh, trim plane here, if I move it, um, I can pick a piece of geometry or a point and snap to it. It is not parametric to it. Don't be fooled by it. It will snap to it, be perfect, zero, zero, zero. But as soon as geometry changes, that trim plane is not going to move. You have to re-snap to it. All right. What we have here is the bend. And this is where the bend starts from. All right. This is... This is, um, you think of an arc. We have our tangent and our tangent of our arc. The trim planes are your tangencies. The, this guy, the bent axis, is the actual axis, okay? And it works real great uh, if we come up here like this. Notice, again, not what we want because it's bending back here. But if I look at this guy, it is labeled trim plane one. I can right click in the middle of the triad and say, uh, move to uh, move triad to plane one, and it will snap it right in there. Notice what's happening now; it, it's bending here. But I want just to bend right up inside of here, and then the end to be flat. So I would take this guy and move him down, pull him around here some, and you can see that um, you can tighten it up. We can also control it over here. I got a 92.81 degrees. Notice there is a, you try hard to see back there, there's a negative sign in there. If I take this off and make it 92, of course it's going to bend the other way. So there is a negative and positive on this particular tool. So I'll just put it at negative 90. And um, notice the radius changed. It is, it is not an option to do both of them. They both math mathematically solve one another. So if I wanted a particular radius of, uh, say, 1.5 inches, um, it, this goes to 5.94 degrees. So it depends on what you want based on the geometry you got, how far it's going to bend. So I'm just going to put back neg at negative 90 and let it do its radius. And if I need a larger or smaller radius, I can change this. Okay. Um, at that point, you can give it an OK. It's got a bend. <coughs> Now at this point we have two bodies, so we've got to glue them back together. Easiest way to do it is yes, you can find wherever SolidWorks is putting the combining tool these days, but we can just uh, control select the two bodies and choose combine and press enter, and they'll glue them back together at that point. Go back to one body, and uh, we have the installed. If I make a um, you know purchase the configuration. I can take these guys, depress them, and now we've got both versions here within one model. Probably in, in, in my office, I probably would have made this a derived configuration, but either way, it works out. I, I like to do, in, in with my consulting companies, just throw with the design a, a rendering of, of the person's product if it's necessary or if it will help out. Things like this, just they pop, just instead of just caught up in sticking through it. The non designer will be like, well, What's that? What's that's going to fall out? What's going on? Even though you know in real life somebody's going to bend it and make it right. So a quick five minutes goes here, gets that out of the way, and, and some people won't accept things where it's just the purchased version. It's, so knowing how to do these and